Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is the worst Harry Potter game ever. Not just that, it is the worst game I ever played in my whole life. This game is so bad that I couldn't finish it. And not just me, there is other victims too. PC gamer, save your money fellow muggles, it's best spent elsewhere. This is from 2006, but why? Let me explain. This is how the game goes. You start the game, you get the main menu, and you get choices, new game, load game, options, and quit, just like any other game. You go to options menu, you wanna change the resolution or controller setting or anything you do on the options menu. But in this game, there is nothing you can change on the options menu. The only thing there is subtitles. Do you want subtitles? Yes or no? That's it. So why they give you a choice in the first place? You know what? I don't care about the resolution. I just wanna play the game. So I clicked on new game. First, you get a cutscene. It's just a picture and someone talking over it. That explains the situation you are in. You are at the Wittich World Cup and you get attacked by Death Eater. So from here, you start the game. You play as Harry, now you can cast any spell as you want. You face those lizards, you can pick them up and throw them. You remove rocks from the way up to this point, there is nothing wrong here. Just a typical Harry Potter game with a low budget. After you escape, you go to this level selector menu. This game is a level based game. That's mean there is no running around Hogwarts, there is no exploring Hogwarts. It is not action adventure or open world game. You choose a location and you play the level. Then you choose the next location until you beat the last location. And that's how you beat the game up to this point it's okay as they say don't judge a book by its cover the first location was defense against the dark arts which basically just a tutorial about the spells and game mechanics to finish the level you need to get the tri wizard shield and the level will end and you will go to choose the next location but there is certain amount of shields you need to collect to unlock the location after i got the shield it told me i need one more shield to unlock the next location so i went to the same location to find another shield and there is also 10 mini shields that if you could Collect all of them, it will give you one big shield. So you go back to the same location, doing the same thing to get a shield to unlock the next location. And yes, when I say the same thing, it's exactly the same thing you did. You do it again just to get the shield. The next location was the Forbidden Forest. On this level, this is all what you do. You drag this plant to aim it at the mushrooms to clear the way or to get a mini shield. You press C to calm a fire down. There is no puzzle solving. There is no boss fights. You're supposed to be getting chased by a dragon, but he don't do nothing he just comes on your way spit some fire and leave that's it and this is exactly how i got the second shield i went to the middle of the map to drag this rock so i can get on top of it and get the shield it took me six minutes just lifting and walking with this rock across the map just to get the shield and this is like the beginning of the game there is a shield that i can't get now i have to progress in the game to unlock a certain spell so i could go back to the same location and get the shield and it's all the same thing after i got the shields i went to the next location location the try wizard task which is a challenge it's like a race between you and the dragon i finished the challenge i got a bronze medal which gave me one sheet that's all i needed i went to the second location the bathroom and the same thing i did in the past locations i did in the bathroom after i got two shields from the bathroom location it told me i need another shield to unlock the next location so i went back to the same locations did the same thing just to find another shield up to this point i was sick i was tired i didn't want to complete the game but I did so the next location was the herbology and here I am going to learn the spell I told you about earlier and this is the spell you just cast it on the plant to make it grow so you can walk on it yes this is the spell that you get halfway the game that's gonna push you to play more all that I want to know is why like who made this game I just want to know who thought this is a good idea then of course I got the shield and finished the level and it told me I need to get three more shields. and now because I learned the spell I'm gonna go back to the past location to get the shield I couldn't get the first time so you see what I'm saying you just play the same thing over and over again you play the same level or challenge over and over they should call this game Harry Potter the shield collector because that's all you do collect shields after I got all the shields I finally unlocked the next location which is a challenge and this is exactly what you do in this challenge you move right or left up or down and you stop here to clear the way and that's it it is a nine minutes long and i got a silver medal now this is not the problem yet up to this point i just wanted to finish the game so i can just make a stupid video for my stupid channel that nobody would watch right when i got to the level menu it told me I need nine more shields. Nine more shields to unlock the next location. That's mean I need to go to every location that I went to already. Run around searching for nine shields. 
doing the same thing over and over and over. Come on! You know what? I quit. I'm not gonna play this game ever again.